So I started a hunger fast in order to dramatize our interest in getting the city to pay attention to racial inequality in Boston. Hunger Fest is the opportunity that an activist takes in order to bring critical attention to issues of social justice. The Hunger Fest was particularly grueling. To not eat food for seven days works on your mind, works on your spirit, works on your body in a way that you wouldn't really understand. On day three, for example, I felt the growling of, the, of my stomach. I felt nervousness. On day five, I felt cramps and I felt extraordinary weakness. On day seven, I could hardly believe that I'd taken my body through this transition. But I felt overjoyed that I had engaged in a protest that brought extraordinary attention to this very important issue of white supremacy. Daniel Hall is connected with uh, slavery uh, in this city, and we believe that civic spaces such as it should not be celebrated because it denigrates and disrespects uh, communities of color, not only across the city, but across the country. Uh, I would think that he, Mayor Walsh, would be sensitive to the fact that voters who put him in office now want to hear from him directly about addressing the issue of the racism that's connected to Faneuil Hall. Uh, yet, uh, Mayor Walsh has uh, said no, he's refused to answer, he's um, rebuffed uh, us on every side. And that should be perhaps an indication to the citizens of Boston uh, that he doesn't care about black people in the city. Here's the tragic truth about this building, Faneuil Hall. 20 million visitors come through this campus each year. Yet I say 20 million lies are told because the real truth about slavery isn't revealed. If Mississippi can change the seal on its flag, why can't Boston change the name of its building? Quincy Market is a historic place in Boston where slaves were sold. It has 140 businesses and shops in 2020, yet none of them are owned by blacks in Boston. My name is Kevin Peterson, and I'm standing in the middle of Faneuil Hall. We're standing here because we are petitioning the city of Boston to change the name of Faneuil Hall because Peter Faneuil was a slaver, a slave owner, a person who made his money through the sale of other humans. His name should not adorn any of our public buildings in this city or across the nation.